Jaime, your hair looks frosty, and what's wrong with my natural highlights, dude? Seeing you without a Tommy Hilfiger polo is weird. That shirt makes you look fat, and yeah, right back at you, man. We have a more premium look now, and I'll make sure not to put myself on discount after that one. That's right, it's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Pocket Now Daily Recap for last week, brought to you by Squarespace. So on Monday, I asked you, what do you think about VR headsets as uh, LG has just launched the free VR headset in certain markets for the LG G3? A good way to start. We have 447 comments out of which Sans says, it's been, what, more than a year? Since these VR headsets started showing up and I still have no idea what the hell they are good for. Um, they're good for gaming and uh, there are other uses out there, but still, I do get your point. They haven't taken off and I think there's a reason for that. We saw the cardboard design, we've saw the Samsung gear stuff, and uh, probably this free one will do, but the fact that it's free tells us a lot about how bad the technology is right now. Good point. Then Flame says, why would I need a VR for my mobile phone? It's not like if I'm going to be going around in public with my G3 strapped to my face. If I want VR gaming, I'll pick up an Oculus, not an attachment for a phone. Good point. It's better to have something that's standalone than have your phone on your face and uh, your battery going dead at some point. Then Harrison says, I think the VR will be more mainstream when A, it gets cheaper, and B, when it stops looking like something that's eating my face. And uh, you're watching too many alien movies, but yeah, true about the cheaper part, though we'll see how this LG one performs being free. Then on Tuesday, I asked you if you would prefer for Apple to improve its CarPlay services that haven't taken off, or if you want an Apple car, as the rumors are that Apple has hired as many as 50 Tesla employees, and apparently that's a thousand employee project from Apple. There are a lot more rumors about this. We have 448 comments out of which CV Gaming says, I think I would rather have an update to CarPlay. CarPlay is just the pretty ugly, and the benefit of being able to install CarPlay in any car if you want is pretty great. Great. I do agree with that. I would rather have a service that I can install in any car than uh, have a car that I would have to buy, which is definitely not affordable. Then Tim says, I think the iCar is going to be a self-driving car just like the Google one. Anyone agree? The difference is the Google car is still not being sold. Then Uppa says, oh boy, I can already see it. The Apple car, last five hours of driving, cost the same as a Lambo. And if I hit a pole or something, the car will be totally destroyed and people will wait on the totally new Apple stores that now sells cars and the specific fuel for the iCar for months. Um, uh, yeah, you're talking about experience here. Then on Wednesday, I asked you, what do you think Android Wear needs to do to become popular as a, uh, well, there is this study that shows that it's only a tiny fraction of the amount of wearables that are being sold in the market. We have 1,078 comments, thanks a lot guys, out of which Coyote says, Android Wear needs to become a standalone device to become successful. I would be able to forget my phone at home when I go out and jog and I still retain all of the phone's functionality. Um, then it wouldn't be Android Wear, it would be an Android phone and a watch. Um, but uh, there are products that can do this and that haven't taken off, like for example, the Sony SmartWatch 3, for example, can uh, lock your run without the need of your phone. Uh, but then again, yeah, the lack of compatibility of applications is really what's making this sluggish. So I do get your point. Then Aaron says, well, Android Wear was only in its first generation last year. Prices will go down and the OS improvements will be made as time goes on. Then we can expect to see Android Wear take off and have 70% of the smartwatch market by 2020. Um, we'll see. For me, it's a battery life issue, really. Then Lewis says, just like Android on a smartphone, it was mediocre in the beginning. But as the years went by and it got better, now it's the biggest platform in the world, as you said. That same will happen for Android Wear as well. Could be. We'll see if they figure it out. Again, I think it's a battery life issue. Then on Thursday, I asked you something new to share your theft cases or memories as, uh, well, the news are that Apple's uh, investment in the whole activation lock feature has made things a lot better for iPhones. It has dropped the theft rates by 40%, 50% in some countries. We have 370 comments out of which Prince Armstrong says, ain't nobody stealing my smartphone. I will fight you to death if I have to, it's mine. Uh, I wish everybody could uh, actually say that that's true after it got stolen. Then Harsh says, was walking down the street with my new iPhone 5. Was very happy that I finally bought an iPhone. And then suddenly a man pushed me and starts running. 
I thought that he was just in a hurry, but when I reached my destination, I realized that my phone had been stolen. Saddest part is that I had not activated Find My iPhone, and please do so. Android Device Manager or Find My iPhone, do so now if you haven't. Then Abu says, I had my Sony Ericsson K750 stolen from me years ago. Since then, I think I must have found over 15 phones that someone had lost, and every single time I made sure that, to find that who it belonged to and returned it. Really cool dude, pay it forward, and uh, I think everybody should do that, but the point being is Apple is uh, doing something really cool with activation lock, Google with Android Device Manager. These are new laws that are forcing people to not be able to activate a phone after stolen or found, which is really cool, and it's going to make that a mainstream going forward. And then finally on Friday, I asked you if Windows 10 and its preview would be enough to make you switch to Windows 10 as uh, the preview for phones is now out and uh, we tested it and uh, we liked some things and we didn't like others. We have 361 comments out of which one of them says, after Windows 10 update, the platform should have uh, more companies making Windows phones like Motorola, LG, and other brands. In that case, I might pick it up and hopefully, but the uh, thing is, Windows 10 doesn't really look that different to Windows phone currently. So that's gonna be interesting. And Michael Jimenez says, it's hard to switch from Android OS or iOS to Windows phone because uh, of the many apps that are not Windows compatible. If Windows managed to get more apps and update them faster, people won't have an excuse to try Windows. Windows. You know, the app gap is getting closed. The problem is not really the app gap anymore, it's really how the apps perform. Try Spotify, for example. You have to refresh Spotify every single time you launch it on Windows Phone, so what's the point about having Spotify if it plays so badly? Really, that's what Microsoft needs to focus on. And then Jasmine says, no update for the 1520? Wow, and I felt the same about my Lumia 930. Only the 830 got the update, and uh, that's really bad. I hate that fragmentation problem with Microsoft. Really, a lot of people that adopted Windows Phone years ago became sad over what happened between Windows 7 and Windows 8, Windows 6.5 and Windows 7. And it seems to happen with Windows 10 again. So uh, I don't know, I get your point, I agree with it. And uh, sadly, oh my God, we'll see what Microsoft does going forward. This episode of the Pocket Now Daily Recap was brought to you by Squarespace, the online service that makes it fast and easy for you to create your own professional website, portfolio, or online store. Visit squarespace.com slash pocket now for a free trial and 10% off. Squarespace, a better web starts with your website. And uh, that's it for our Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you very much for watching. A couple of tips if you want your comments to be featured. Number one, keep them short. Number two, stick to the point. Number three, try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them out all easier. You can also follow us on social media. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can Follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week or hopefully a couple of weeks later since we're in Barcelona after that.